Welcome to this tutorial where we will be learning about how do we plot different trigonometric functions using the help of two libraries in Python which is the numpy and matplotlib. So numpy is actually a library used for mathematical computation. So where we work with multidimensional arrays and solve the different matrices using the numpy library whereas matplotlib is a plotting library which can produce various line plots, bar graphs, histograms and many other types of plot which is included in the Python. Now, why plotting is actually necessary is because it's a way to visually communicate results with our engineering team and supervisors and customers, you know. So now in this tutorial, we are going to plot a couple of trigonometric functions using the help of these two libraries. So let's just begin our tutorial. <coughs> so let me just cut this. All right, so we are plotting the trigonometric functions using the numpy and matplotlib. So what we need to do is we need to firstly call the two libraries. So we call Python using import. So we import the two libraries, which is numpy and the matplotlib. So now np and plt are just the short form. So you know the pyplot is mainly intended for interactive plots and simple cases of programming plot generation. So it's like a MATLAB like way of plotting. So NP and PLT are actually short form. So whenever you need to call the library next time, you don't need to write the whole bunch of functions like N and NumPy and matplotlib. You can just simply write NP and PLT, which will call our library. Now, next thing what we do is we define a variable. Yes, we define a variable. Now we will define a variable of X. Now we can put any sort of values. Uh, in this tutorial, we are using 0 to 3 pi. In this example, we have, they have used 4 pi, but we will be using 3 pi. And this is increment of 0 0.1 radian. So this is basically uh, the x value variable stored in the numpy y array. Our uh, array's function has actually three arguments, which is the start, stop, and step. So let's learn how do we do that. So we firstly call this function or library called as np and then we define the values which needs to be extended along the plot so what we have done here is this is actually the start we start with 0 and then we stop at 3 pi and then this is the step size of 0 0.1 so this is how it works this function now we define yet another variable called as y which will store uh, the value of x um, given any function there. So we will be firstly doing on sign. So it's like this np dot sign x which will store the uh, values of x. Now what we do is we plot these two values using the function called plt dot plot and then plt dot show will finally show our plotting diagram. So let's just see how what it has plotted. So there you see it has play, uh, printed the sign function where we have started from 0 to 3 pi and it has a step size of 0 0.1. Now what if we need to print a cos function? So we just replace it by cos cosine function and then you will get the cos function of these two. So there you go. You have successfully plotted the cos function of these variables or we can see these values. Uh, let's just print also tan so it gives asymptotes so there you go it has some asymptotes in this so we have uh, learned how do we actually you know plot trigonometric functions using the numpy y and matplotlib library now let's just look at this thing uh, where we have we can also uh, add the x label y label and title and also we can add the legend here so plt dot plot which we have used here is actually <coughs> to you know plot the values so now uh, we just need to right, add these so let's just copy here all right let's just copy this from here so you need to add it like this and you need to copy the y label right from here And finally, we can also add the title like this. So we don't need a legend here, I guess. So yeah, so we have printed like 0 to 3 pi, right? So it's values of 0 to 3 pi. 
and the plot label of y is like 10x so let's just replace this by 10x uh, we don't need cos x here Uh, there you go and we have added like the title of plot of tangent plot of tan function let's just write this much and then we do these so now we print this so then you get uh, x label y label and the title then there you see uh, this is the x label so x values from 0 to uh, 3 pi and this is y is the function of tan x and this is a plot of tangent function so this is how you add uh, title and labels in the in your plot to make it look more informative and more attractive so that is it for this tutorial thank you for joining